in this segment of this video we are going to talk about microsoft teams card so let me share my screen so we can see all those options which are available for microsoft teams calls so here you can see we have a option the very left side and that is calls so click on it and you can see we have phone and then contacts so whatever phone calls you can make so you can search the name of that person and you can directly call to that person so if i want to call to anoop i will click here and i will start calling anoop then uh, in contacts you can see you can come here and manage your contacts you can add new contacts using name or phone number so let's go back in phone and you can see here we have don't forward so you don't want to forward your phone call you will use this option don't forward if you if you want to forward voice mail like if someone is calling you and you are not able to answer you will use voice mail so that is what you can set from here then you will go manage settings and here we, you can see we have general under general we have theme and chat density so which kind of density you want for your chat you can select and which kind of theme you want you can select from here then we have related to application restart auto start application open application in background on close keep the application running so these are the features like mostly related to the hardware like how do you want to start your application and which language you are using what is delegation display out of office you can schedule from here if you are out of office and someone trying to reach you then we have this is my account obviously then we will go privacy and here uh, if you want that only few people can disturb you when you are in do not disturb mode you will use you will come here and search for those member and add them so they can only connect with you even though you are in do not disturb mode then we have blocked contact you want that these these persons or these numbers uh, should not be able to call you then you will add them in blocked contact then we have keyword shortcut to unmute you want that if you are in a meeting or something like that and you want to directly unmute or mute or mute your chat you can use shortcut so we have uh, this shortcut uh, control plus space bar to mute unmute your notifications then we have read receipts and identify identify me in attendance report survey so this is uh, if you want that someone can't identify you in attendance you can off it after that we have notifications which kind of notifications all activity you want notification for all activities you want mention and replies you want custom so that is what you can set from here then we have chat messages mention and reaction you will get notifications meet if you want to edit you can edit from here meetings and call Controlled notifications, reminder during your meeting and call, you want that, uh, which kind of net notifications you will get during a meeting and call, you can manage from here. Mute notification during meeting and calls, you want to mute everything when you are attending a call, you will on this feature. Then we have people, you want that, uh, you the people from your organization, when they are going offline, online, you can check their uh, status that they are online or offline and for example if you are a manager of team and you are managing 10 people and you want that when those 10 people are coming online you should get notification when those 10 people are going offline you should get notification in that case you will go here and add those persons in your team and you will get notifications whenever they are coming online or going offline after that we have here uh, notification then we have updates so that's a separate app which you can add in microsoft teams so related to that app if you want to manage notifications you will use this 
update the notification setting so here you can see we have the banner and feed only so in feed of so that is what you can see here then we have others after that we have devices like this is very important because here you can set your microphone and speaker sometimes you are not able to listen the wires and you are not able to fix your microphone or a speaker and uh, in most of the cases when you are using multiple speakers and multiple phones in that case you have to select like i'm using multiple uh, audio devices so you can see i have the list here so i'm using this one and that's why you can see here then i have multiple speakers so you can see so you need to select from here that which device you are going to use for your microphone and which device you are going to use for your speaker and then we have permission which are the application you can use and after that uh, nothing more important you can have calls files and links so if you you will download this is very important like if someone is sharing something and you are going to download that particular file where we you will file those files in your pc that is what you can change from here so by default i have c user stw downloads and if you want to change this no i don't want those list in download i want whatever i will download from microsoft team that should be in a separate folder you will change from here and you want that whenever i will i will download there should be a notification that do you want to download in which folder so th that option you can on this and you will whenever you will download you will get that option after that we have captions and transcript so automatically identify me in meeting caption and trans uh, transcript so that is what you can on from here then we have calls so you can configure call ring me forward my calls and you can also configure your voice mail so like record a greeting call answer rule like let the caller record a message greeting language english and then text to speech customization greeting option and out of office greeting so that is what you can set from here and then we have a uh, next option your ringtone and then we have accessibility turn on tty to use text to communication over the phone line to get this working make sure connected with tty device so these are the options available in microsoft teams calls this is how you can manage your microphone your speaker your contacts and you can call them you can also manage your voice mail and if you don't want to forward your phone calls you don't 